I often get asked, what kit do I need to go bike packing and how do I carry it? Well today, that's what we're going to look at. So, on the front of the bike, I've got the Apertura accessory pack and the Apertura handlebar bag. The handlebar bag is 9 litres and 4.5 litres for the accessory bag. I probably should have gone for the slightly larger 14 litre handlebar bag because then I wouldn't need the accessory bag. So let's have a look what I've got inside. So we unstrap these from the handlebar. It's obviously one of the big disadvantages of uh, the handlebar bag is it's difficult to access. So this is the best place to put stuff that you're not going to need to access regularly. So I put most of my sleep kit in the handlebar bag and the accessory pouch. Okay, so in the accessory bag, I carry first my ground sheet, which is the magic carpet from uh, DD. Then I carry all my suspension kit for my hammock, my ridge line, and some uh, repair kit for the tarp and the hammock. The reason I do it like that is because uh, if I can detach any parts of the hammock and the tarp system that are going to get wet, then I can stow them separately, potentially on the top of the bag, so I don't get my uh, hammock wet and any of my uh, sleeping bag or any of the other sleep kit wet if it's uh, been wet that night. Then I've got my tarp, the DD Super Light. Expedition food sachet. And lastly, my bush box stove. And it's a uh, carry case. It's not ideal to carry the bush box on the handlebar bag. Really, you want any weight in the middle of the bike. Ideally, I'd have it in the frame bag, but unfortunately, this is the XL and it's too large to go in the frame bag. I probably should have got the LF version so that I could have carried it in the centre of the bike, keeping the weight where it should be. Next, in the handlebar bag, I've got my hammock, the DD Superlight hammock. I've got my sleeping bag, the Cathlon down sleeping bag and what I use for my under quilt, the Alp kit cloud cover. So next up we've got the saddle bag. Now, a really important thing with the saddle bag is that we pack it in such a way that we can strap it on securely so that it really is snug to the bike. The last thing you want, especially when you're up out of the saddle, is for this to be wagging around behind you because it makes the bike really unbalanced. So you want something really solid packed into this bottom part of the bag here so you can strap it tight to the saddle without it moving. So I'll show you how to pack that now. In your saddle bag, you can place all your items that you might need to access a bit more often during your ride. So in the top of my saddle bag, I have a really basic first aid kit, something I might need to grab really quickly. I have a down puffer jacket. This is from Decathlon. And that's great for keeping me warm if I stop, cafe stops, something like that. Next, bundle of clothes, this is normal clothes for uh, relaxing during a camp at night. Next up, we're getting to the area now where I need to be able to uh, strap it tight to the bike. So on a solid pack, something a solid lump that I can uh, strap to the seat tube. So what I do, I wrap, this is just a uh, thermal top. I wrap that around my cooking gear and it makes a nice solid lump that I can strap to. So this is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe Kit. In here, I've got my cutlery. This is a uh, Life Venture cutlery set. All splits apart. Use me with a knife, 
a spoon and a fork. I've got the stove itself. Handle for the pan. And in the bottom, a gas cartridge for this to attach to. You'll notice they've got plenty of kitchen towel. This stops everything from rattling around. And in here, wrapped up again in kitchen towel to stop it scratching my uh, non-stick pan. I've got a stand to put the gas bottle on. Right in the bottom of the bag, you want to put items that you can really stuff down hard so you can really use up every last bit of the space and it'll make the corner of the bag nice and hard so it'll strap to the saddle tight. I always take a pair of bed socks with me. Never know, cold feet are going to spoil a, a night's sleep. And thermal leggings, again, to make sure I'm nice and warm for an overnight trip. And that's it in the saddle bag. Next up, we've got the frame bag. In the frame bag, I tend to carry odds and ends and items I need to access quickly. So first of all, I've got a basic toolkit For that, primarily, I use the Topic Survival Gearbox. I've also got a load of charge cables for my uh, various electronic bits and bobs, and a basic pump. And essential for any bike packing trip, I've got a uh, head torch. Another absolute essential. This is the AeroPress. This is my uh, coffee making kit. You can make some real good coffee with this. Really useful item. This is from Decathlon. It's a 10 litre rucksack that can be put, packed down really small. Now, this is ideal if I go shopping to buy a bit of food or something on a trip. I can unpack this, carry any food, additional water or anything I'm going to need for the night that I'll buy more locally to where I'm camping. Ideal for carrying it. Wet wipes, ideal for a bit of uh, personal hygiene. And I've got some little pots of useful things. So that's chamois cream. Some my briefing gel for any uh, issues, any uh, aches and pains. A little tub of Vaseline for any uh, chap lips. Uh, definite essential. I've got a uh, power bank for charging all my electronic gear. Spare inner tube. And a ring light, which is useful for my camera, but also really good for uh, clipping onto my tarp to give a sort of overall lighting over the uh, camp. On this side of the pack, I've got all the smaller items. So I have a holder for my phone, it's just a uh, simple, cheap silicon holder that can strap around my handlebar and uh, hold my phone. I can also put it on the ridge line of my tap, so I hold my phone above me when I'm on a uh, video call with family, or if I just want to watch something on the uh, phone whilst laying in my hammock. I always carry some Ziploc bags. Just really useful for any uh, item rubbish or uh, any items I want to keep dry. Nice long plastic spoon so I don't scratch my uh, cooking pot and also for uh, using any uh, expedition food packet so you can get right down to the bottom. And lastly, a fire steel for all my fire lighting needs. Last up, we've got the top tube bag. In the top tube bag, I carry my supplies for the journey. So we've got energy bars, we've got gels, more energy bars, protein bar, and some chocolate covered Kendall mint cake. Ideal to keep me powered and prevent the dreaded bonk on the journey. <laughs>